What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? You know who it is. And, uh, yes, I'm wearing the, the black, white beater, you know. Feeling kind of nice. Falls upon us. Should have been wearing this during the summer, but falls upon us. So I decided to switch it up today, get the white beard. But uh, I'm going in today. Today I want to talk about, um, is Israel guilty of genocide? Now, uh, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas was at the UN. He gave a speech, I guess. And he accused uh, Israel of, of it's the, the, you know you know how Hamas and um, Israel going at it. Well, he accused Israel as having a war of genocide because rough. This is rough estimates now. I'm not giving exact. These are rough estimates. I guess comparatively, these these, these are facts and figures. You know, this is what's been reported. I don't know if these are true numbers, but as many as 21,000 Palestinian people. 70 Israelis have been dead by the conflict. And so they, and, and, and uh, Abbas is saying, well, this is the scale of the death as far as the ratio is appalling. And he stopped short of saying he's going to take it to the war crimes court, which people look this up. There's a war crimes court, if you don't believe me. It did to the Nazis and everything. But uh, he stopped short of saying he's going to take it to the war crimes court. But he said it was Israel has, has been unfair and is targeting the Palestinian people. Now, when you look at the numbers, I can understand where he's coming from. But at the same time now, it's Israel is saying, and I, I can't believe they did this because Iraq, Iraq, the Iraq war we saw this. Israel is saying the reason they're bombing these targets or the reason these people are, are, are dying is because what they're going is, what allegedly they're going is, they're putting some like munitions and like a lot of weapons and like they're putting them under places you wouldn't put them. It's like soft targets, like you're putting them under uh, apartment buildings, nurseries, hospitals, and Israel is saying to get to the cache of weapons, well, we have to bomb these things. And they said that the casualties wouldn't be as high or as even close to that if you would, if they would practice, you know, quote unquote, normal procedures. But I guess they said Hamas is putting them in, like, like I told you, like apartments hospital stores and like I said we have seen that with the Iran I don't know if not, not thought, but the Iraq war with the Gulf Persian go to the Gulf War. We said we saw where first of all there was no weapons of mass destruction number one. And number two we saw remember that milk factory was uh, was uh, was was also a factory for chemical weapons production. So I can see Israel's point. See a lot of me and, my, me and a couple of my friends we talk about this at, at my job and at my friends, friends. But here in the States, we don't know, well, black folks kind of do know back in the day. I don't, I can't, I don't know it now. But you can't, you, you can't, you don't know the, the worry and the terror or the back of your mind of thinking uh, there could be a terrorist incident where somebody could come in and just blow themselves up that day or kill you for no reason because they don't like you. Sure, in America we have a bunch of guns, but it's not, it's not to the effect of like, like, like they said, uh, is it like Hamas will fire rockets towards Tel Aviv. And they said that te the people in Tel Aviv have like 15 minutes before a rocket gets there, or something like that. 15 and 90 minutes. It's either 90 seconds. I don't know if it's 90 seconds or 15 minutes. One of the two. Look that up. But imagine that that was like imagine if Canada were lobbing missiles. Like towards Buffalo and Detroit, and you know, was that Sioux Falls? I think, I think Fargo is close to Canada, and uh, maybe Idaho, or maybe uh, Seattle. I mean, we can't relate to that. I mean, well, well, if I see a guy wearing a trench coat, it's not even something degrees. I know what to do. I know what time it is. I've seen that happen before. As far as someone's wearing a trench coat, and then you see something real long coming out, I'm like, I ain't up and down this road. But uh, I'm just saying we can't comprehend overall as Americans is on a day-to-day -day basis of what's going on for the Israeli people 
as well as the Palestinian people. Now, recently in Israel, or in the Palestine, or I guess three three Israeli kids were hitchhiked. And they were kidnapped and they were killed by Hamas allegedly. I don't know if it's Hamas or just a couple of Palestinian people. Well, the IDF, and here's the thing people don't understand. The IDF and the Mossad and the Israeli Air Force, they do not play. If they're coming to get you, they're coming to get you. What happened was the IDF went in and they got them. I think one of them died or two of them died. They, they got at least one of those guys that killed the teenagers. See, I can't get that. I can't agree with Hamas as far as, yeah, you want your people to free, be free. Yeah, you want your own land. I can get, I can, I can deal with that. I can go on that with, I don't love with you. But I can't, what I can't, I just can't. I can't, I can't get, to me it's, it's unfathomable that you're going to willing to kidnap some young innocent kids and kill them to promote your cause. That's just savagery and barbarism. And I can't go for that. No, I no can do. I can't go for that. No, uh, I just can't. I mean, I see your point about you want you want you, maybe if you want the borders back to 1948 or 67, my fault, 67 borders. I just can't see you kidnapping kids and killing them, and all of a sudden somehow you're supposed to have people rally behind rally behind you guys as as if you know what, what do we do? You got to act civilized. I mean, to a point where. It, come on, man. I mean, you killed three kids. That's how you, that, you... You're not winning the war in the hearts and minds of people when you do stuff like that. But as far as the boss, here's the problem. He controls the West Bank. Hamas controls Gaza. So together, they're, they gotta have... There's no one clear-cut ruler. So that's the problem they're facing, so... I'm gonna stay on top of this one because, like I said, I'm into I'm into stuff like this. I, I watch it, I read it, I write about it. So, thanks for watching. If you got a comment, if you got a question, send us. I got an email address provided. Send a question. I answer all questions. Follow me on Facebook. Do the Instagram and Twitters. So, I'm out. Peace.